Enhanced armor suits worn by the mobile infantry for combat. Powered armor is worn over the trooper's body like skin so the user can concentrate on combat rather than the armor itself. In the Starship Troopers novel, powered armors have jump jet integration, allowing troopers to leap tall buildings and obstacles with ease, hence their name, the Mobile Infantry. A typical Mobile Infantryman also packs an arsenal of weapons, some being built into their armor. These range from small arms to micro-nuclear warheads. The powered armor is strong enough to resist small arms fire, and thanks to servo motors, the wearer has enough strength to pulverize a tank or smash through concrete walls. The suits, however, are dexterous enough to allow for picking up more fragile objects without immediately breaking them. The troopers are able to maneuver rapidly in combat and cover entire square miles of terrain, thanks to their jump jets and rockets. In the novel, those who would compliment good soldiers would use the phrase, they are on the bounce. According to the novel's narrator, Juan Rico, when suited up in the powered armor, a trooper resembles a steel gorilla. All troopers are able to track their vital status through integration of their suits. The mobile infantry utilizes three types of powered armor in the novel, which are the marauder suit, the scout suit, and the command suit. A basic infantryman is outfitted with the marauder suit, customized to fit their individual body. The armor gives troopers enhanced strength, the ability to leap tall buildings with ease, and deflect enemy small arms fire. For recon missions, a scout suit is equipped which gives the user much faster mobility and jump speed, but reduces their protection with lighter armor. Reserved for field officers, the command suit is the most similar to the Marauder, but features more communications equipment and contains more energy than the Marauder for jumping and weapons. The 1997 Starship Troopers film removed the iconic powered armor from the novel to save on budget and opted for a basic combat uniform which is more reminiscent of modern military forces. The Starship Troopers anime adaptation also features a redesign of the classic powered armor, but most fans of the novel agree that this is probably the most faithful adaptation of the powered armor as envisioned by Heinlein. There was also a different type of armor utilized in Starship Troopers Invasion that also looks a bit cooler too, but it's not exactly the full-on powered armor from the novels. What do you guys think of the Mobile Infantry's powered armor? Would you like to see it featured in the upcoming film reboot? As always, thanks for watching, my name is Nick, and if you'd like to know more about Starship Troopers, subscribe to Hybrid Network.